In the current markets, um, there are trends that are affecting the way that the supply chain is being operated. Uh, some of these uh, changes are that uh, the product has shorter life cycles. Think about uh, in the past, uh, you buy a product and you kept it for years. Um, nowadays, the technology is changing and things like cellular phones or televisions uh, have new features and we want to change it to the most uh, recent technology um, to stay up upgraded with the uh, with the current capacities of uh, the technology. We have more outsourcing because more countries have uh, more technical capabilities and uh, however still the manpower, the labor is cheaper over there and it, it makes sense to um, work uh, from or, or outsource some of the work to these other companies or, or countries. Um, due to political um, conveniences, uh, many politicians try to uh, sell the idea that uh, uh, that outsourcing is a bad, bad uh, plan for the economy. Uh, actually, it is the protectionism that uh, it is worse in terms of um, uh, how much benefit can society get out of. Uh, the same amount of work and that's uh, proven by economists and in practice in general we can buy more uh, with the same amount of dollars that uh, that we used to uh, the products that we obtain are much better than the than the products that uh, generations before had and uh, that should be taken into account um, so uh, it's a discussion that we can enter uh, for a whole several days um the the market demands transparency and we want to see that uh what is the cost of our dollars in terms of how much is shipping and handling and what's the cost of the product and can i return the product and what's the content of the product and what are the sources of the product and uh where the manufacturing uh, conditions or the labor condition for the people who are actually manufacturing these products um, across the globe um, the we want to have global coverage and um, several companies are offering global logistics nowadays and uh, you can deliver your products and can have um, your product uh, advertised and marketed and and, and uh, collecting your money in the internet and deliver to pretty much anywhere in the globe so that's changing and collaboration with the entry of uh, the the internet a lot of the barriers of entry for particular markets have been dropped and uh, the only way to or one way to to keep uh, being effective is collaboration for instance uh, amazon has this uh, service uh, for uh, delivering products so you can set up your your electronic uh, or your e-store, your internet store, and you don't even have to have the product in your own warehouse and you don't have to worry about your uh, logistics in the sense that you put everything in the hands of uh, Amazon Logistics and they will take care of shipping the product, collecting money and put it into your account. All you have to do is set up a website that can be or doesn't have to be associated with Amazon. Um, it is separated. They separate the capacity of doing the, 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 the uh, uh, internet service from the actual delivery and collection, and uh, it, even if the customer returns the product, the 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 product will return to the Amazon warehouses. Uh, it is not perfect. There are still uh, some room for improvement, but. Uh, but certainly, it's interesting what's happening. Also, with the with this changing uh, of uh, trends, we have customers wanting uh, new requirements. Uh, the customer want one-stop center. So, if you put an order in Amazon, maybe the products that you bought that you're buying from Amazon are coming actually from different vendors. So, maybe you buy different gifts in in some Christmas season, and uh, you don't want to. Even though you know that um, that maybe you're buying from different vendors, 
you still go to the same website to try to track what's uh, the delivery and um, and other issues that you may have with respect to your product. Um, in that sense, we want the seamless seamless information flow, and uh, this is true for customers, but it's also true for business to business. And in a sense, uh, now companies are starting to work as if it was just a single business that are sharing the information, because um, as uh, you if you've seen uh, the video about systems, the information uh, that is passed is important in terms of the uh, reaction time and how that affects uh, inventories. Um, customer wants differentiated products. Uh, nowadays you can order um, tennis shoes that have your name and just with the colors that you selected and so on and so forth. Uh, the same thing with cars. It used to be that um, Ford said that anyone can get a Ford Model T as long as in any color they want as long as they wanted it in black um, and um, things have changed a lot and, and customers are more demanding and uh, companies have to compete based on on those uh, uh, capacities um, also um, we we expect to have a just-in-time delivery in the supply chain in the special in the business to business uh, it is no longer true that uh, you're going to deliver large bulk of uh, product at the warehouse of a customer and you would expect the customer to handle that. You uh, the customer is trying to expect to just the product that they need for that uh, for just a few hours or days and uh, simply because it is cheaper for them to operate in that way and, and pass the cost to the supplier or um, in some instances, depending on the situation, to the transport uh, transportation services uh, or uh, other middleman uh, services that constitute the uh, supply chain. So, so um, in the integration of the supply chain, um, we can consider that uh, we have a, a network of suppliers and um, uh, network, a distribution network and inside our company we have an integrated enterprise with uh, information and product flowing and um, and at the same time uh, cash flow flowing and um, uh, this um, information and uh, product flows um, connect the customers and the distribution of wealth and uh, profits and revenues uh, across the supply chain. Of course, the main idea is that for the consumer, um, whatever it needs to happen in the supply chain with all these different elements uh, would be transparent to them. Um, so uh, this is a generalized model of how the supply chain should work.